In the days after the September attacks, there were countless rumors about strange coincidences surrounding the events. One report about a group of Middle Eastern men spotted the morning of September 11th parked just across the river from New York City has not gone away. Investigation of their presence has led to questions about whether Israel was conducting espionage on U.S. soil. We're joined now by ABC's John Miller with an exclusive report this evening. That's right, Elizabeth. This is a case that took the FBI and the CIA more than two months to sort out, while five Israelis waited in jail. It began when this woman was watching the Twin Towers burning from her apartment in New Jersey. She noticed three men on top of a van, posing for pictures with the towers burning in the background. And I could see that they were, like, happy. You know, they, 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 were, they didn't look shocked to me. You know, they didn't look shocked. I thought it was very strange. The witness called police, who stopped the van hours later and arrested five men. All five, it turns out, were Israeli. They were turned over to the FBI. Sources tell ABC News, during a check of national security databases, some of the men were listed as having had connections with Israeli intelligence. At the FBI, that set off alarm bells. The FBI needed the answers to three important questions. Who were these men? What brought them to that parking lot on the morning of September 11th? And did they have any advanced knowledge of what was going to happen that day? The men said they were just taking pictures at the time. They said they worked for a company called Urban Moving. The FBI obtained a search warrant for the company's offices. Two SUVs were filled up with between 9 and 12 boxes and computers. Not long after the arrests, the offices of Urban Moving were simply abandoned. Almost everything was left behind. In jail, the five Israelis were repeatedly interrogated and given lie detector tests. Stephen Gordon was their American lawyer. They were asked questions if they had ever been approached by or hired by any non-United States intelligence community. While there is still some debate among American intelligence officials, many investigators believe some of the men were part of an Israeli operation aimed at monitoring radical Islamic charities that support groups like Hamas, something lawyers for the five men and the Israeli government strongly deny. These five Israelis were not involved in any intelligence operation in the United States. The story is simply false. In the end, the FBI concluded there was no evidence that any of the five men had advanced knowledge of the September 11th plot. After 71 days, the five Israelis were deported, leaving some ruffled feathers among both U.S. and Israeli officials. According to federal officials, the five men have been barred from returning to the United States for 10 years, they say because they violated immigration laws. Bottom line, John, is there any evidence any of these five men knew about the September 11th attacks before they occurred? The FBI spent a great deal of time examining this question. It does not appear that they were in place taking pictures before the planes hit, but shortly thereafter. And they say they haven't uncovered evidence that any of these five men, and they did their backgrounds, they searched apartments, they telephone records and so on, had any advanced knowledge of the attack. And while the FBI or certain sources might believe that in fact they were Israeli intelligence, they don't believe that the U.S. was a target, that they were actually investigating Muslim groups? They believe if this was an intelligence operation by Israel, that it was focused on the Islamic groups uh, and charities that raise money for groups that are considered by uh, U.S. law enforcement and others terrorist groups. And you'll note that after September 11th, the U.S. moved on many of these groups with indictments, arrests, raids on their headquarters, something that hadn't happened prior to this. These are groups that Israel believes have been funding Hamas and other terrorist organizations? Groups that are responsible for most of the suicide bombings there. All right, John Miller will have a full report. You can see it tonight on 2020 at 10 o'clock Eastern.